about to offensive line is you feel like that group's pretty solidified at this point we're getting there we're getting there you know it's time of year uh you know you kind of narrow it trying to narrow it down to those seven or eight guys that are kind of working different spots and trying to build some uh you know chemistry and continuity with those guys but uh, it's starting i think it's starting to come together well and wide receiver position seems deep maybe five six guys you can run out there is definitely that i think you know minimum six um we're going to be able to to put out there which i think you know the good thing about that is a guy like kalijah you know i think we'll, we'll be able to to get a break at some point in the game and so when you get to the fourth quarter you know he can be fresh and kind of at his best at that point but yeah those you know that that group is has is talented and had a, had a good camp. No, Coach Mason said maybe Thursday, Friday is when you start to install for, for Georgia. Mm -hmm. But you personally, have you gone in and looked oh, at that? Oh, yeah, thing? yeah. I mean, that's that's been going on, you know, all, all summer. And obviously, um, this week, as, as an offensive staff, we've started to, to kind of get back into that mode a little bit. And uh, certainly tomorrow, we'll, we'll kind of introduce the game plan um, to, to the team a little bit and then uh, get ready to go. Coach, what's it like getting to utilize a weapon as unique as Jared Pinkney? It's great. You know, obviously him him deciding to come back um, has, has been huge. I think for him, you know, he's had a plan um, since since he decided to come back of what he wanted it to look like this year. And I think the way he's he's practiced, um, not only just obviously the the talent that he has, but I think he's he's kind of taken the the mental part of things to to a different level and and just the the importance of you know every rep whether it's an individual or practice or what it is how, how important it is and that's been the really great thing to see you know over his career here is him go from a talented guy to you know a, a very talented guy that that understands really the the right way to do it and how to be a leader and how to be role model to the younger guys what it's supposed to look like do you think a guy like Jared helps, you know, the whole line progress and helps mentor them as a senior? Oh, definitely. You know, he's seen a bunch of things. So yeah. there's obviously, you know, really between between the O-line and the O-line and tight ends and O-line and quarterback, there's a ton of communication that goes on. You know, so for a guy like Jared who's seen it all, you know, when you have a young tackle, he can help with some of that communication that, that goes on. And, and so that certainly helps. How have the, the quarterbacks handled this battle now that it's coming to an end? Yeah, they, they've, they've been doing a great job. You know, I think they've everybody's worked well together and, and kind of understood, you know, well, what to expect and, and what is at stake. And, um, you know, so I think, you know, you just, you just got two, two good guys right there that, that, you know, both want the job, both, both have worked hard. Um, but... They understand that they're on the same team and they've, they've worked well together and um, have worked really well in the meeting room together. And so um, it's been, you know, it's been a, a good thing. Have you seen their teammates kind of rally behind them and step up and encourage them as well through the process? I think so. Yeah, I, mean, I think so. You know, they, you know, I think when, when, when we're out on the field, I'm not sure, you know, if they even know who's in the huddle or not for sure. You know, they're just out there trying to, to, to communicate and, and get things done. And, and that's a good thing, I think, when, you know, you, you don't really notice, hey, this guy's in the game or this guy's in the game. The offense just, you know, executes and, and make plays. I think that's that's a good thing when you have two guys going at it and it's it's really hard to differentiate what's going on out there. One more question. With a little with a little uncertainty of the quarterback position, do you lean on your skill position players more, some of these veterans? Oh sure. Sure. You know, uh, obviously you got three guys there that have proven that they can be great players in this league. And so you know, I think you have to, you know, understand that that they have to be a, be a big part of things early, and and I think the you know whoever's in there at quarterback, I think understands that that hey we got we got three guys who have proven themselves, and I don't have to, to be perfect or or do anything special. I just got to execute and, and get these guys um, the ball in certain situations.